Hello Internet, happy Wednesday. Today is, I think, May 11th. Um, and as you can see the title, ah, my hair is horrible. Just get it out of the shower. As you can see the title, we are reviewing Zombieland with Jesse Eisenberg before he was famous for The Social Network. Oh, I love this movie, but um, not gonna go into that so much until you watch the trailer, then we'll discuss. So do that now. Welcome to Zombieland. It's like a greatest hits collection of nightmares. Awesome, right? So basically, um, I'll give the premise of the story and then I'll tell you when I'm gonna spoil it. So the premise is basically, uh, Jesse Eisenberg, he's just walking, he has no family left, he's just walking, zombie land, everybody's a zombie except him and some other people. He's just walking, he finds this guy. So he starts driving with him. This guy's mission is, like, to find Twinkies. Cause, like, he just needs his Twinkies. He needs his Twinkies. And he can't find them. They find a hostess truck, snowballs, god no, snowballs. So they go to a supermarket, and this uh, girl, there's two girls, one's younger, like 12, one's like at least 18, and she's like, I'm gonna turn into a zombie, so you have to shoot me. It was all a trick so they could take them hostage. Oh, I'm spoiling it now. Did I ever forget to mention? Darn. So it's all hostage, they take in a, tr yeah, it's funny, and then they leave them there, the, the girls steal it, the guy's car, so the guys are just walking with their suitcases walking miles and miles until they find a car stacked with guns and food the perfect thing you need for a zombie apocalypse so they take that and they're just uh... they're driving everywhere until they find her again because she's like playing sick again they really feel bad for her because she they think this time she's not sick but she is they get taken hostage by a twelve year old girl as they say in the trailer i don't know if i showed that part haven't really decided yet um, then they, they, then, you know, as they, uh, Jesse Eisenberg and this guy, before even meeting the girls, they weren't best of friends. They were like, we aren't friends, not here to make friends, just, like, go about your business. So they were just driving together, and as, as the story develops, obviously, it's like a comedy mixed with a horror movie that's not scary. That's the best way to describe it. Um, so as the, the, the plot is evolving, they're all, oh, let's, you know, you, you, they're not, like, going out there and be like, okay, let's be friends. They're starting to, like, develop it. You could, like, you, you could just tell that they're becoming friends. And Jesse Eisenberg and the older girl, the girl of, the older sister of that 12-year-old girl, are starting to love each other, which is very exciting. <laughs> Jesse Eisenberg is pretty obvious about it, but the girl isn't. She looks kind of emo, just saying. The, the main character of that movie, Easy A, forget the name, um... But then they start breaking into rich people's houses. Oh, remember, at this time, nobody's alive. So you should keep that in mind. Um, just uh, breaking into rich people's houses, celebrities' houses, and uh, just killing zombies, which apparently they're extremely good at. If you saw the movie, they're so good at it. Like, killing zombies, finding Twinkies. Amazing at it. So they keep doing this, and then... They go to a theme park because it's like this little girl's dream. She's it's like her happy place. She wants to go to this theme park because it'll make her happy. They're on this ride while they're on this ride, like shoots up and down. While they're up there, um, zombies are like forming at the bottom. So the only way they can get out is if they shoot the control panel to get them stuck, like in midair, so that the zombies won't be able to climb up. And then Jesse Eisenberg comes and saves the day with the rifle, and everything's super fun and dandy. No one dies except zombies. I actually should watch this movie again and count how many zombies actually get killed. Uh, it's one of those movies where a voice is being dubbed over the movie, like Jesse Eise uh, Eisenberg is narrating the movie while it's happening. Just a, It's a great movie. You should definitely watch it. If you want to watch it and you haven't already, link is in the underbar. Uh, make sure you're signed into Netflix. Um, then click the link in the underbar and you can watch it instantly on your laptop, your Apple TV, Xbox, PlayStation Network. Oh, never mind. PlayStation Network's down. So however you can watch it, watch it. Uh, I definitely suggest it. If you're looking for a laugh, great movie. And if you've already seen it or you go see it and you come back, let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Um, so that's this review. I will see you guys on Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th with Unthinkable, a movie that went straight to DVD with Michael Sheen and Samuel L. Jackson. That's going to be fun. Yeah. Peace off.